G'day everyone, welcome back to Damn Collectibles. Today we'll be opening up a MetaZoo Nightfall Booster Box. I've been waiting months and months and months to open these. They finally rocked up like a couple of weeks ago and we've slowly been able to film a couple of these videos. I'm joined here today with my two friends. Hey guys, yeah, what's up? And we're here and we're going to open this up right now. If you don't know anything about this set, feel free to check out any of our other videos or in fact any other video on YouTube about MetaZoo. There's a lot of people that will tell you basically anything about this set and you know what's in it and what to expect. Um, I'll give a quick rundown over the box though. So as you can see, it is one of the only TCGs on the market to include a holographic like booster box. As you can see, there's nice sparkles going through the entire box. We've got a couple of artworks of some of the cards that are on here. Beautiful Wendigo at the front. Got a slight description on the back with a little sample of like what the cards look like. You've got your logos, everything to do with it all. A nice big first edition stamp there. And something else that's cool about these are they actually glow in the dark. So the yellowy parts around Mothman and the moon and the, uh, like the names, same as the moons and that down here, they all actually glow in the dark. Uh, we tried to showcase that in one of our last videos, like our first booster box opening. But um, without any further ado, let's just crack this open and get going. So, it has been done. Yeah. <laughs> Ripping straight into it. Yeah, I'm just going to tear the packs as well because I'm not that fussed about keeping them. Yeah. I'll probably do it for one of the videos just so I can keep like a nice set to put in the binder. Even if they are open. But yeah, as we can see, we've got the security stamp here and the one on the bottom. I still forgot to show it off, like I say every single video. <laughs> so we'll try to do that next video to showcase the void sticker. Oh, just fucking rip. Oh, I swore. <laughs> we'll cut that out. <laughs> just rip the box then. That's all, all good. It's nothing too important to keep, really. They are nice looking boxes, though. Flip the uh, flap up and get these out. So we got our four pack arts right here. We got the Luffalang, the Wendigo, the Jack O' Lantern bombs, and the uh, Bell Witch. So just gonna start tearing into these, see what cool stuff we got. Um, sadly, my box did come slightly dented. I'm really, really hoping that that has not damaged any cards. Thank you for holding that. I right? didn't even think about that <laughs> sliding out. Didn't but... want to see it hit the floor. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure the whole box has hit the floor <laughs> at some stage in the shipping process. But... Yeah. So let's get into it. We got the Arkansas Snipe. Cosmic Warp. I still don't know how to say this. Tahihan? Yeah. Tahihan. Iliama Lake Monster. Index. Holy Eyes. Zombie Apocalypse. Ooh, and Beast of Bladenboro. And then we got the Dark Watchers as our regular rare, the Stained Glass Art Token, Winter and Forest. So I'll, I'll probably do like a few where I go through it slowly and, you know, name the cards, but once we get towards the middle of the box, we might just start ripping into them real quick. Because I'm sure you just don't want to see the same card called out like 30 times. Yeah, Sam's Holy Water, we got Brain in a Jar, The Werewolf of Defiance, Veggie Man, which I still love that artwork, <laughs> a little creepy dude. What's that, um, Salad Fingers, <laughs> that's what I was thinking of. Oh, here we go, Born from the Earth, Full Hollow, second out of the box, and this is one of the Unlucky 13. So, oh yes, we finally got one. So even though this is only the regular air, this is the card that I'm chasing in the set. I want the full hollow of this. Like, it's such a good looking card. That's new to have a look at because yeah. you, you were really wanting to see that one as well. But um, like, I hope like the MetaZoo Nightfall hype doesn't die down by the time we get a lot of these videos up because it really is a very, very good set. Like, the artwork, like, you know, just the cards in general. A lot of them are, like, enjoyable. Like, 
some of them have some pretty cool effects, um, which will help uh, boost like the game. I'm guessing like Spectre Moose. That's a nice one. I was like the um, the ghost here from the first one was cool. Oh, we got Injured Cole as the Hollow Reverse. So if you don't know anything about this guy, this guy is formerly known as the Smiling Man. And he has a pretty creepy backstory, if you'd like to look into that. Um, we plan to eventually do, um, like, episodes where we actually look into certain cryptids and let you know about the story and, like, where they're from and how it all sort of came to be. So that'll be um, a nice series to start up once MetaZoo gets a bit more traction, I think. Um, but yeah, there's definitely some ones in here that like, you know, they're well known and like, you know, ev everyone knows about the Headless Horseman and Bigfoot and Mothman, but it'll be cool to explore some of the other ones, I feel. And we've got a full Hollow Bell Witch. That's quite nice looking, actually. I think we've only seen the, um... Yeah, I think we got the, the reverse, reverse, reverse of that one. Yeah, yeah, I remember it was really hard to actually see the artwork. Yeah, like, see if it was reversed. Um, some of them are like that, though. There's ones where, like, you get the reverse hollow and you're just like, oh, is this a regular rare? Like, yeah, no, that looks really good. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So that's a new one for us. Um, we are going to try to master set this. I hope we can do it with what we have. Otherwise, we're going to have to pay... <laughs> a bit of extra money on the secondary market, obviously, yeah, but, um, yeah, like, I, I've already seen that, like, the Mothman cards are, like, going for, like, a hundred and something dollars, the Wendigo cards are a hundred dollars a piece. I think Headless Horseman is 60 or 70. Oh! oh that one's Jack very Frost. hard to get. Wow. For some reason. None of the cards, cards are short printed, but that one seems the hardest to get. That's nice. We've seen a reverse of that, haven't we? Uh, or was it just the regular rare we got in I the last video? I think we only video? got the regular rare. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. That's cool too. I like his little artwork. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen that movie. It's called like Rise of the Guardians. It's, it's about like Jack Frost and Santa and that. It's like a kid's movie, like an animated one, but... I don't think I have. I always like remember that about Jack Frost was he was like this loner kid that had like the frost powers and no one could see him and <laughs> he was like a bit of a loner but man that's a nice looking card yeah so so far pull rates have been good three hollows two reverse hollows and one of the reverse hollows being one of the chase cards in the set so mm. pretty stoked with that hopefully we can keep this up because our last box that we opened was crazy it was just full hollow after full hollow like Ooh, and we got Adam Ackler as the reverse. We got a lot of Adam Ackler related cards in our last yeah. in our last book. This is another one. That's good. River of Time. It's cool because it's like a shattered hourglass, like spilling the sand of time. Like I think that's awesome. Like that is great artwork. Um, and then we got Dusk and was it Full Moon? That's pretty cool. But yeah, like. Uh, I say it every video, man. This set gets better every time we open cards, mm. I swear. Like, it's it's just such a fun set to open. The artwork's all enjoyable. The hollow patterns are cool. Like, um... Not to, like, spoil it for you guys if you haven't seen any of our older videos, but, um... We actually opened up, like, an Era Mothman where the hollow had, like, the print cut sheet in it. And it looks pretty like, nice. Double print cut, really. Yeah. Pyre, that's fantastic artwork. Kudos to Poncho for that one. He's like the most known MetaZoo artist. Um, ooh, we got Full Hollow Abduction. It's one of my favourites. Quite a nice card. That's another Unlucky 13, I think. We've got the Giant Octopus. Oh, that's nice. It's really a bit of a shame, I think, that they didn't capitalize on the, um, like, holographic terror cards and stuff like that, mm. that they did in the first set. Like, they were really nice, and it was kind of cool to see them get, like, an alternate art treatment. Of, yeah. And it's, like, such a common card. Like, you get one free per pack. It was cool that they sort of explored that a bit. Like, like imagine if, like, when Pokemon did, like, the reverse holo 
um, energy cards. That's what it oh, reminds me yeah. of. Remember they had like the shiny ones of that and yeah. there was like the gold cards of those and so we got Aura of Prowess, Crazy Critter of Bald Mountain, Bald Mountain, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Another good one. Still want to hold over that. Yeah. It, I, I don't exist. even know if it is. Yeah. yeah it doesn't. Damn. Marceline. Yeah, Marceline from Adventure Time. Oh, we got the full <laughs> hollow out of Macla. I think I've already got like three of this dude. <laughs> well, that might have been my booster box where we pulled three of him. Uh, yeah, yeah, actually it might have been. Yeah. That's still pretty cool. Mm. I'd love to read the um, illustrated novels. I, s I saw that they've got them up for free now on, what is it, Amazon? Or well, you can read them free on, I think it's just metazoogames.com. Ah, uh, okay. Might have to look into it because I'm, I'm pretty interested to see like what they're going to be doing with the characters and everything in that. Like, yeah. I want to know like what... What's the deal with Sam Sinclair and Adam Ackler and like you know? I want to see Indrid's, Indrid Cole's role in it because mm. he's meant to be the main bad guy, isn't he? I think so. Yeah. So. Yeah. Some of this artwork, man, like blows my mind every time. Ooh, Twin Meteor, Full Hollow, that is incredibly hard to see. <laughs> it's like um. Yeah. I pulled the Wendigo card and it's it's got a similar background where it's like that completely dark black color and it's so hard to tell that it's a hollow which is such a shame because it's like such a cool card. I don't think I've seen this card before. Fog. Well, yeah, I think we pulled a few fogs in the last video. Yeah. Man. Maybe I've just got a terrible memory. <laughs> that's probably more likely the case. No, that's the thing with the artworks is like you can see them sometimes, but then other times like it'll just really jump out at you. Yeah, anyway. yeah, true. That's right. That happened last time as well. Yeah. Like when we did the recap after the video, like we thought we'd only seen this card like the first time, and there was like three of them in the booster box, yeah, and we yeah. just skipped over them. So we got Army Cook, Cabbage. Town Tunnel Monster, Tur t Tuttle, Tuttle. Tuttle Bottoms? Yep. I thought it was Turtle Bottoms. <laughs> I think I've said that in a couple of the old videos. The Mud Bro, Earth Bindings, Veggie Man. Ooh. Oh. Wait. That is the reverse. That's the, yeah, that's it. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's wow. what I was talking about before. Some of them, it's like near impossible to tell that that just, is. Just on the ferry. Yeah. That's cool though. Yeah, Same as like in the first set, there was the Salem's Witches and it was like a little witch flying through a town and it mm. had like a moon, but only the witch was hollow. So like, uh, cause it yeah. was black to it, like barely showed up. Like, sorry, what were you going to say? Oh, just that I do like the, even though it's not much hollow on there, it does look good. Yeah. I'll tell you another card that would look really good hollow that they didn't do. You know that card where it's like simultaneous bioluminescence yeah. or whatever? And it's like all the like luminous um, mushrooms on the trees. Mm. That would look so good as a, like a hollow card or like a reverse hollow or something. Like I really wish like they had to like put a couple of these cards to the fans and been like, Hey, with blessed, would you like to see a reverse hollow version of it or something? But yeah. it seems to be the theme that like your spell cards don't get any reverses or anything. They're just yeah, like so a standard card. Well, Born of the Earth is a spell. Ah, well, yeah, there is like the exception. Yeah, but like the majority of them are just like a regular card to throw in the set. Ooh, Whoa. the gargoyle dude that we've seen like a thousand times. <laughs> Still nice though. We checked last time too. There's actually like text here where it says like Metazoo question mark question mark question mark to 2031. Not sure if that means anything. It's actually um, a really good card to see all the uh, reverse on. Yeah, because mm. of the silver, yeah. it just picks it up immediately. Like same as like that's why Born to the Earth looks so good. Yeah. It's just because the background's like nearly that pure white, so like it just picks it up so easily. <laughs> Dive into another pack. Wendigo pack. Let's get a headless horseman, please. I would absolutely love that. That's another good looking card. That like mm. neon pink or whatever you want to call it is so eye catching. And then there's cards like this where it's like so washed <laughs> out and like watercolored that it's just like blends into the background. 
But yeah, like again, like mm. the neon peak, it just hits you yeah. like straight in the face. Dover Demon. Oh, oh dude. I got it. Yes. Got it. I actually got it. You called it in the pin box we opened too. Oh, and I got a Mothman as the back one. Nice. That's a good pack. Bro, I'm so happy. Oh, and there's a skull just there. If the skull had been like right on the top of his <laughs> head, I would have lost it. There's a ghost down there, a spider web there. I'll check later if there's a bat on there, but it doesn't look like it right now. But man, I actually got it. I got the guard that I wanted from the whole set. That's that's awesome. Pretty much perfect centering on it too. Oh, I didn't even look at that, yeah. man. I was just like so entranced <laughs> with it. I was just like, it's in my hands. Like, <laughs> I'm just going to fold that up for now because it keeps, keeps on flopping over. Yeah, I'm really hoping that damage on the box, though, hasn't like affected the um, the cards towards the bottom. Like, Yeah, so far so good. Oh, that's another good looking card. Destroy aura. This page can only be contracted with aura pages. Okay. Oh, so that means you can't use, like, the twin meteors or that to contract it. Yeah. Title one aura page you each control. Place both pages in respect of afterlife. Each caster must choose a special aura page if able. Skipped over a card. We got Nightmare. That's another good-looking one. It took me forever to realise what this artwork is. It's a horse. <laughs> yeah. Like, I thought it was, like, some face, like, blowing out smoke or something. It's just a horse, like... <laughs> Probably the horseman's horse too, right? Yeah, it could Probably. be actually, yeah. Tribe to raid, imprisonment. That's another good one that we forgot to go over last time. Just the colours and like, I don't know, like, just like the, the colour of the sky bringing forth like freedom nearly and like the purpley pink and the imprisonment thing like makes it, I don't know, it's a nice looking card. That's what I'm trying to say, guys. <laughs> I'm not good with words. <laughs> Oh, and here we go, Full Hollow Lightning Alley. Another awesome looking card. You just got like the boats in the harbor overlooking the little city and the hollow and the lightning crackling across the sky. That'd also look good as a reverse, to be honest. I think there is a reverse of that. It's not th an unlucky 13. I thought it was. No, I don't think so. It looks like it could be, but... It's pretty cool. Mm. Cost a zero to... Oh, so that's like the um, Twin Meteor one, but that's for the light. Yeah. Or the electricity or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Well, guys, I don't know if you're enjoying this box, but I certainly am. <laughs> it's been ridiculous at the moment. What have we hit? Like five hollows in a row or something? Uh, Are they all hollows? Oh, no, where the gargoyle yeah, was the gargoyle, reverse. The light elemental. Yeah. But yeah, there is a fair few hollows. There is the definitely more hollows than non-hollows at this stage. Hopefully that sticks around because everyone likes a bit of glitter on the card. <laughs> bit of shimmy, that special thing to it. Unholy fire. Oh, and there we go, lightning split. Another Adam Ackler card. <laughs> he sticks around again. Yeah. Yeah, we pulled like three of these last time, like two full hollow Adam Acklers and then like two reverse hollow Adam Acklers. It was just like the whole box was just themed off of him or something. Well, at this stage, <laughs> I don't think I could top what I've already gotten. All I really want it now is the um, full hollow Indrid Cole, the full hollow Grim Reaper. Old Scratch would be cool, but yeah. I seriously highly doubt we're going to get a one hunt, like one in 100 card spread across 50,000 boxes. Um, what else is there that's in the set that'd be cool? A reverse Wendigo would be yeah, pretty yeah, nice because yeah. I don't have that one. You don't have a Mothman yet either. Yeah, actually, I just, yeah, now that you said yeah. it, I don't have any of the Mothman. There we go, Tai, tai Hehan. Tahihan. Pulled a lot of him today. Yeah. It's good that we only got the one reverse though so far. Yeah. Because that's, that's something that was definitely with, um, Cryptid Nation. The, what was that card that we just pulled heaps of them? The reverse one. Uh, like it was like a ridiculous amount we pulled across like the three boxes and everything that we did of that. Wasn't Cactus Cat? A lot of people did get Cactus Cat. Oh, the um the Mountain Terror Shot card. That's I swear right. we got like heaps of them. Yeah. 
Zorbora, Lufalang. I still love that card. I'd like that as a reverse holo. Sadly, it's not a full holo. Um, the Mud Bro. <laughs> it's fucking, I love that artwork. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, and here we go. The reverse holo of Twin Meteors. That was way better than the uh, yeah. full red. Yeah. I know, man. Like it, It's amazing how like just the color of like what the holo's on will project it so much better. Yeah. Because that's like, again, it's like that silvery white color. Like, it just like pops so hard. Makes you think about like the prices of the singles. Like, will a, will a reverse be more valuable than a holo? Like, yeah. Depending on Cards how, like how this. Looks, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, like, for the Wendigo, I could nearly see that happening. Because literally, man, it's just like you have to tilt it real hard in the light. And you only see like the outlines of the stars. You don't get yeah. that full shine effect. Like,. Uh, no double ups yet, I don't think. This is good. Uh, this is I think this is where we're damaged. getting to the territory where the cards might be a little pushed in, judging by the crease in the corner of that box there. Uh, we'll have to see what this is like. I'm a bit worried, to be honest. So far, that's okay. So we got Blessed, Napa Rebops, Trinity Amulet, Iceberg, a little Chessy. Easter egg, Fain Death, Copy Cup. That's one of my favorite um, like sp spell cards, I guess, in the set, even though it's a potion. Um, Dispel Evil. And we got the Obsidian Obelisk, which, again, it's Damn. like the hollows, man. They just they picked the wrong color for some of them to be the hollows. Is it just me, or is, this, like, is the centering really far off with that? Oh no, it's just because that's completely black. Oh, yeah. I was like, what? And I was like, <laughs> why is there like a millimetre compared to like two inches? So, <laughs> we've got Boil Over, which looks great because when it's the full hollow one, you can barely even see the Loveland Frogman and the Piazza Bird. <laughs> Same as like the Abduction one. It looks really good as just a regular card. Like you see the whole thing, but with that one, you have to really tilt it to see like the little farmhouse in the corner and that. Yeah, true. Okay, here we go. Dark Lightning Orb. See, I, I don't recall ever seeing that card. Like, I swear there's still some cards in the set we have not seen. There's gotta be. Caster Center, Destroy Terror. Oh, here we go. I haven't seen this one yet. We've got the full holo of that yeah, one. I think, I think you full, got that one. Full holo, yep. That's kind of cool. He looks really good, and I, I recall his um, like ability being pretty decent. There we go, born born from the earth as the regular. That's why like the hollow pops so hard. It's just like all well, that white. Yeah. It's just like nothing's really obstructing it. Oh, that's a nice card, dusk. And then that's the worst aura I've ever seen in my life. It's just like surely they could have done something better. But oh well. Still cool, nevertheless. Running out of room at the back there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Too many. Uh, we might still be good for another couple, I think, but then I swear the bottom ones are going to have... They'll probably have a dent in them. Or, like, the corner will be a bit buffed or something. Or a prowess. Water to wine. I love that old geezer. <laughs> Tahihan. We've got Sam's unholy... Uh, Sam's holy water, sorry, not unholy water. jack o lantern bombs. The purple blob of Philadelphia. Can you get that in a full hollow? I can't remember now. Yeah. I know we've gotten the reverse. Yeah, it's possible. Oh, no, I don't think so, because it's only a, um... Yeah. Just a silver card. Yeah, true. Unlucky potion. Oh, oh and yeah. another one. Why could you not They're have been teasing full? <laughs> teasing. I just wanted the full hollow of that. <laughs> Wait. So he only gets darkness. I swear he had more things. Hmm. No, it must just be darkness. Yeah. That's full moon, I think. Flood the Earth. This is another card that I would absolutely love to get as the full hollow. Yeah. I love that, like, Loveland Frogman. It's like, kind of like that scene in that 2012 movie where there's the monk on top of the mountain and the, <laughs> the giant tidal wave is just coming at him.
Uh, we might pull these out, I think. I'm scared and I need to look at the condition of these. Man, we've still got heaps to go. Yeah. Been a really good box. Yeah, it really has, like. Okay, so these don't look overly damaged. That one looks a bit pushed. But we'll definitely keep them off to the side. So we know which side of the box they were on. Yeah, that was the corner that got possibly dinged. Yeah. Okay. So we got air rods, cosmic warp, tribe terrain, iceberg, boost aura, cast a center MD, Robert the doll. Oh, uh, yes. I haven't even got that yet. This is one that I really wanted to get. The headless nun. I'm pretty sure you can only get it as a reverse as well. It's not a full holo card, but man, that looks good. She's got like a skull on her shoulder there. <laughs> it's like a army badge. <laughs> And then we got the octopus again. There we go. I'm gonna start like going through these a bit quicker now, guys, because the video's getting a bit long. And I'd love to try to keep this around the 35 minute mark if possible. So we're just gonna start slapping through some of these. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this set again. Yes, another card <laughs> that I wanted! <laughs> or Books Crying Tree. So one of my friends actually pointed out last time, when you get this in the reverse rare, the little blood tier isn't reverse, but everything else is, like the pumpkins are. So I don't know why they chose to do it that way, but oh, yes. I'm so glad I got another one that I wanted. Um, let's keep going. I was about to say that'd be a cool one to get a bat in the background, because it'd look like a bat yeah. flying past, and you've got one. <laughs> oh, do I? Yeah, it's just above the... Uh... Right, jack o -lantern. Nice. <laughs> what do we got? Uh, we'll just quickly go through these. Yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying these, though. Ah, oh, no, hell's going. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> they just keep coming. Yeah. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying these, because, man, this has been so much fun to open all these. And we'd love to do more MetaZoo in the future, but... The way it's kicking off, it's going to be a bit of a worry as to whether or not we'll be actually able to get some, because, you know, people are starting to catch on to, we'll get the axe handle hand, um, people are starting to catch on to the idea that, you know, this is this could possibly be the next big TCG and everything like that, so it'll definitely be interesting to see where they go with it, how they're going to do print runs and stuff like that. Um, I think from Wilderness onwards, it'll be a hundred thousand of everything in first edition. Yeah, but what's it going to be? Ooh, oh. Boogeyman Reverse. That's a nice one. I was kind of hoping to get this one because what uh, my friend here pulled one in a an earlier video, but yeah, I like that card. I really yeah. like the Boogeyman artwork. I like the little Mothman doll sitting yeah. there too. Yeah. And then there's like a picture of Earth that says space. <laughs> 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 Um, but yeah, like we really want to get a lot of the UFO set if we can, but it's going to be very difficult because where we're from, there's very little places that are getting stock of it at the moment. We were lucky enough to get some from our local game store who they just managed to get it in like literally with very little notice and they hooked us up. Oh yes. That's a nice. That's cool. Nice. Um... But yeah, other than that, like we, we tried a couple of sites and everything like based in our country and it was kind of difficult to get it, honestly. They they always had like, you know, minimum, uh, like a maximum that you could purchase and which is understandable because people want to get their hands on it and you don't want one person buying 10 booster boxes so that two or three people miss out. Like it is understandable that they did that, but... Oh, another Mac. <laughs> oh wait, no, we got the full holo now. Uh, no, I think you've no, already yeah, we've both. already got it. Yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, like I don't know. It'd be nice to have a couple of places where we could order three booster boxes from, so we can get heaps for the UFO set. Because 
me and my friend, we like we don't even know anything about the set yet, what the cards are gonna look like or anything, but it's just like like we both really like UFOs, like and like aliens and extraterrestrial stuff. Oh, that's cool. A red ghost. As a reverse holo. Um, so yeah, we're trying really hard to see where we can source a lot of them so we can keep bringing the content to you guys. But um, Try and master set that one. Yeah, we definitely want to master set that one. I'd love to master set this one. I think this is my favorite set that they've announced so far. Uh, the Seance one, which was formerly known as Ouija. That'd be a cool one because it'll be all about like ghosts and... You know, demons and stuff like that. Oh, <laughs> yes, we got it. There he is. We got it. Man, this, this box just keeps giving. Yeah. The only thing we haven't gotten is Mothman and Wendigo, <laughs> pretty much. But, wow. Flood the Earth Hollow would be nice. Yeah, I reckon. Need to get more of them, because we seem to be getting the same ones where it's like we'll get abduction every single thing we open. We get Hell's Gate every single True. thing we open. Like That is nice looking, though. Um, so we'll quickly get the rest of these packs done. We'll do a quick recap and then we'll say sayonara until the next time. Um, which, you know, there will be more of these to come. We're still filming. We've still got stuff that we want to open. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I don't have any of them, that, any of them yet. It's got a little ghost up in the chain and a skull there, a spider web there. That's pretty cool. There's the red ghost, in case you guys were wondering what the artwork looks like for that one. I really like that card. Put that to the side too. Um, but yeah, like, I hope you guys are just enjoying the content that we're bringing. And you know, I hope it puts a smile on your face, just us being idiots opening up cardboard and making little jokes and references every now and then. And me messing up and accidentally swearing and <laughs> oh cool oh, the full hollow guardian angel i don't think you've got any of them yet have you maybe the reverse. i think i got the reverse one yeah i really need to get a binder and start organizing <laughs> these so i know what i need to get but yeah oh man like this set just hits for me like so hard there's so many good cards in the set and like so far, we haven't encountered any damage from yeah, the right side no. ones, which is really nice. Not even really any whitening, just the normal amount of... Yeah, there was whitening on, on a lot of the top ones, but it was all towards the front of the pack. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'll, these ones have got, like, little bits, but it's, like, it's definitely, like, gone away throughout the rest of the box, which is nice. Mm. Ooh, we got the Grafton Monster. Yeah, nice mean. full hollow. There we go. I got Jack Frost as the... Regular, regular rare, so that's one less card to get. Um, a couple of rocks <laughs> for the Earth Aura. Come on, let's let's get like one more proper good hit, please. Like a Mothman would be sick because I don't have I don't have any of them yet, other than the regular rare. Oh, we got some Wonk. <laughs> I thought it was Squonk, yeah. but Squonk's from the first set. It's we got Wonk reverse. Similar to Squonk, I guess. He's like a little armadillo thing, which yeah. is kind of cool. I thought it was like a rat the first time yeah. I saw him, but yeah, I realized he's got like a shell with spikes on it, so. Um, let's see, only a couple more packs left. <laughs> Another Hell's Cave. <laughs> Not bad. You can probably have that one if you want. Yeah. I've got like five of them already. Like seriously, it's like, oh, I just hit the camera. It's getting a bit ridiculous the amount of them. Hell's Gates that I have. Hopefully it's not foreshadowing what I see after I die. Mm. Uh, let's see what we got in this one. Come on, come on. Oh, <laughs> come on, bro. Oh, Get away. Let's get some more. <laughs> yeah. Bro, like, I think you, how many can you have in the deck? One. One. Yeah, and we've got oh, like my. we've got like fifteen of them now in total or something. <laughs> so we're down to our final two packs. We'll leave the Wendigo one to last because you know that's everyone's favorite. It's the Wendigo. I'm so lucky that I have pulled that from yeah. my first boost pack. Like yeah. seriously, I have not seen even a regular rare Wendigo card yet. Like, Actually, I don't think I have either. Yeah, I've yet to even see the artwork. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like, ooh, 
Napa Rebops is the reverse rare. Adam, let's go. He's back. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing that superhero <laughs> pose. Like, he just slammed in and he's like, hey, boys. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. See, I don't think I've seen that. I swear I haven't seen that. No, it was the same with the... Uh... The raindrop aura. I was like, you pulled that before. I was like, have I ever seen that before? Like, <laughs> We've opened up like heaps of packs and there's still cards where it's like, either my memory is terrible or like we just have not seen them. <laughs> okay, here we go. Final pack. Let's see what we get. Something good, baby. And um, we got Mr. Krabs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got the Hell's Gate normal card so yeah. you can see it like regularly. Well, that was an awesome box. I honestly don't care that I still haven't got Mothman or anything like that. I got the card that I wanted. Actually, I got th I got three there? of the cards that I wanted. I got um, Injured. Yeah, Injured, the Crying Tree, and uh, Guardian Angel was probably another one that I wanted, and Headless the Horseman. Headless Horseman. Like, man, I can't complain with that. Um, we'll do a quick recap. Just to show off what we got. So we got reverse, 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 reverse. Full hollow, full, full, reverse, reverse. Full? Yeah. Full, full, reverse. Full, full, reverse. Full, reverse. Um, full hollow. Are they all full hollows? I didn't sort them. Right. I'll quickly go through them. Full, reverse, 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 full, full, reverse, reverse, reverse. I can't believe we got two injured cold reverses in the yeah. same box. And we got full, reverse, reverse, full, full, reverse. Looks about even. Yeah, I think I did get even. So, for our reverses, we got the Arkansas Snipe, the Red Ghost, Wonk, injured cold, Headless Nun, which that's a great looking card. Uh, Napa Rebops, Axe Handle Hound, oh, excuse me, Boogeyman, Hope Diamond, Wallow Lake Crustacean, Adam Ackler, uh, Beast of Bladen Borer, Indrid Cole again, Adam Ackler again, Light Elemental, uh, the Gargoyle, that dude, Twin Meteor, Obsidian Obelisk, and that. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So I only got 16 full hollows. I thought I got more than that. It seemed that way when we were doing it. Well, at the start, man, it was just like every second pack, uh, like every, like two out of three were hollows. Like, yeah. So we got Hell's Gate, Guardian's Angel, Adam Ackler, The Old Book's Crying Tree, Injured Cole. Hell's Gate, Grafton Monster, Born from the Earth, Bell's Witch, Jack Frost, like that that's another one we forgot to say before. Yeah. That's that's a crazy pull. Abduction, Adam Ackler, Twin Meteor. Yes! <laughs> yes! The best card in existence. Uh, Lightning Alley and Lightning Split. So I hope you guys really enjoyed that. I had a blast. I got some great cards. I had fun with me mates. Um if you want us to do anything different or you know if you like the video let us know if you hated it let us know but yeah i don't i don't know what else to tell you guys um but get ready for the next one take it easy guys thanks guys yeah